Hey guys, it's uh, JV here again with another video. Today's video is on what we should pick when we do, ha no, well, when we do want to actually repair our broken screen on an iPhone. Now, as you can see, I've got videos and I've got instructions on, on how to do it, but for those that aren't actually confident to take the plunge or they need it actually fixed on the spot uh, because it is urgent, uh, I'll give you the two options today, which is, um, are you going to go with an Apple Genuine screen? And you can only get that done through a certified Apple repairer or an actual Apple store. Or are you going to go to a local repair where they're going to use most likely a copy screen and uh, an aftermarket screen. So both have positives and negatives and um, uh, we'll go through them today. So first of all, when you're looking at your local repairer, you know, you'll see that nowadays it's not hard to find a local repairer that, that actually can fix an iPhone screen. This, to, to date, up until an iPhone X, uh, you know, so the iPhone 8 is still uh, affordable to actually fix through a local repairer. So what you're going to find is this, with the actual uh, pricing point, it's going to be a lot more affordable than an actual uh, Apple store or an Apple technician. So. Uh, what you need to do is you'll see that in Australia, you can get say an iPhone 7 screen replaced at an Apple store for approximately the $200 mark. Uh, this is without Apple Care, obviously. And uh, you can get it, it repaired from a local repairer for approximately between $50 and $80. So there is a big difference and that's one advantage that you will save a lot of money going to a local repairer. Now, the thing is going to a local repairer, only Apple have actual genuine Apple screens and, and we'll go through the actual difference on, on what a genuine Apple screen is as opposed to uh, an aftermarket one. Now, an aftermarket one, yes, it's a lot cheaper and it's cheaper for a reason. You're gonna find that it works the same as, as an Apple. You're gonna find that actually most functions are, are very similar. There's, there's nothing different, it looks the same. Uh, the LCD brightness is the same. Uh, some people do say that it is, it's not exact, but I can't really notice a difference. But you'll see that the most important thing is that when you get an aftermarket screen, it actually, the glass on top of the LCD screen, you'll see this is an example here. Now, um, you've got your, your display LCD underneath, and then you've got obviously your glass that goes on top. There, there's a few more components that I won't go into, but that's just generally the gist of it. Now, when people make, obviously all factories make these aftermarket screens, not putting actual genuine Gorilla Glass on the top of the screen. So what does that mean? That means that there is a higher probability that if you do drop your phone, uh, you, there is a, there's a good chance that you might, uh, how should I say, uh, break it a lot more easier. So that's one thing because without Gorilla Glass, you know, it, it is a lot more fragile, so, so take that into consideration. Now with a local repairer, you'll also find that they actually, as I said before, they're not hard to find now. There's a lot nearby, and what you need to do is just jump on Google, and there's most likely a chance that you'll find one, you know, within five minutes away. So, so that, that's a good thing. Uh, most local repairers, most people that have been in business for, businesses for years, they will offer you a warranty. Well, they should offer you a warranty. Uh, they will most likely offer you two options, which will be an aftermarket third party or a refurbished. What that means is they'll get a genuine Apple screen and they'll put, uh, uh, sorry, uh, they'll get the, the crack screen and then they'll take the, the old glass off and put new glass on, which means everything underneath is genuine Apple. Um, but still, the whole assembly is not genuine Apple. So let's, let's remember that. Okay, so uh, you'll find that, you know, as I said, uh, they will give you that warranty and most likely you will actually uh, you know, be happy with their service if they actually have been doing this for a while. It's not a, a really hard job as you've seen through all the videos I've made. So uh, it, you know, it, it's more so the quality of the part that they do put in. And uh, if they're in business for a while, um, it's in their best interest to make sure that they give you something that you won't come back with a warranty claim. Now, the other option is going to the Apple store. So first of all, what you need to do is, if your phone is new and you do have Apple Care, I think it's around the $50 mark to actually replace a screen. And I think you get up to uh, two replacements for, for $50, which is a really, really big saving no matter what. 
Now, the biggest advantage of going to Apple is that one, you're gonna get that you know, 10 out of 10 Apple service uh, and you'll get the, the actual correct screen placed on there with uh, Gorilla Glass. Now, Gorilla Glass, as I said, is a lot more stronger. It's a lot better. And most importantly, you will keep your warranty. Now, going to a third-party repairer or a non-authorized Apple repairer, uh, they will void your warranty as soon as they open the phone. But once Apple changes your screen, the phone is still under warranty. So if anything happens, you're still covered. Now, depending on what country you're in, I think the warranty is between one and two years. Uh, if it's uh, an older phone, obviously it, it'll, it'll be out of warranty. Now, the actual pricing point with Apple is, is obviously without Apple Care, you're paying a lot more money. Now, uh, some screens go up to $250 US, uh, you know, and, and usually float around the, the 150 US mark. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a big thing. Now, another thing is, is that with Apple, if you do just walk into their store, or if you do find a store, obviously their stores are limited, and you do find one, sometimes there can be a bit of a wait, but the way around that is, you just have to go online and book an appointment at your nearest Apple store. So they're the two comparisons. Uh, both have their advantages. Uh, I think what you need to do is that before you do repair it, you need to weigh up what's more important. For example, price or keeping a warranty or you know having a stronger screen, uh, you know which could actually end up saving you money in the long run. So um, I would you know have a think about it. If it is urgent, you know, obviously, you know, I, I do think, well, in Australia that you'll find that there's a lot of local repairers everywhere. And I think pretty much for the rest of the world, it's the same. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, I'll be doing another video in the next few days. Thank you. Bye.